Hi, this is Leonardo, and in this video I'm going to show you the new members of the Bolt package of modules. So, we have two new modules, which is Caudal and Flux. But in this video, I'm actually going to just focus on Flux. I'm going to make a complete new video on Caudal. So, let me just delete this one. The idea behind Flux it was just making a module that was completely focused on processing the signals that Caudal produces. So and it's actually a very simple module, but that has uh, many small functions. It has a, it, it can act as a sample and hold, as a comparator, as an attenuator, also as a envelope follower or slew limiter and it's uh, four times the same the same uh, architecture so we have these four channels so let's let me just input a signal and I'm gonna create another and I'm gonna use it as clock so we're gonna see the input signal I'll make it faster like that, and we're gonna see th the output. So first, we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna uh, turn off everything here. So we are in the off mode, and I'm gonna show you the the attenuator. So the attenuator, what you can do is uh, reduce the range of the signal. So it's just multiplying it by a constant, which can go from one zero here. Uh, but also twice uh, twice as, as large. The offset can move the DC component of the signal from minus 5 volts to plus 5. So using these two parameters you can modify the minimum and the maximum of the signal. So once uh, the input signal goes into the attenuator. Uh, it goes into into the sample and hold or the comparator. Uh, but I'm going to skip it for now, and I'm going to focus on the on the follower. I'm actually going to change into a square pulse. And yeah, I'm going to use this one. So you can uh, hear as well in the background how, how the signal behaves. So with the range, we're defining how much is changing and with the offset. into default and let's go to the to the follower so what the follower does it's uh, in where the rate is zero uh, the, the output signal is exactly the same as the input signal and we're in uh, linear mode and as I increase the rate what happens you can see it here that is that the output signal is trying to approach the, the, the input signal in a linear fashion and if I, if I make it too slow what happens is that it, it just cannot catch up with the, with the input signal so it, it never reaches the actual value and it can go very very slow so in exponential mode is practically the same. The main difference is that it approaches exponentially, uh, but this produces a, a different sound. It's like faster in the beginning, and then as, as it gets closer, it, it becomes slower. And the 
third mode is the envelope follower mode. So what happens now is that uh, as I increase the rate, and when the input signal is larger than the current state, it's it's just gonna jump into that value, and then it's gonna uh, decrease. To make it more clear, let me just disconnect this one and let's use a VCA. And I'm gonna take the input signal and I'm gonna multiply these two signals. Let's make this one much faster and I'm going to use the sign like that. And this is going to be my input here. And well, you can see here that the output, depending on, on the rate, it is, is actually following the envelope of this, of this signal. So you can make it slower. And if I it set the input signal to zero, it just slowly decreases to that value. Next part, let's see, let's turn on the sample and hold. And I'm gonna use the signal as clock and let's take a triangle, a sine wave as, as input. Let's make it a little bit faster. I'm gonna turn off the follower and change it to sample and hold. So the sample and hold, uh, every time that there is a, a clock uh, uh, in the rising edge, is gonna take the value of the of the input and it's gonna keep it. Let's see the input as well. So this is the sine wave, and the 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 values that are kept are, are the ones that that happen in the clock. So if we make a faster clock, we approach better to the signal. And we can use, for example, this signal uh, to change the pitch. We can, for example, change the range. And we can use the follower. This is a small example on how you can how you can use it. So next, let's check the the comparator mode. I'm gonna remove that one, and instead of this signal, I'm gonna use the same clock, but instead of that signal, I'm gonna use uh, no, uh, noise. Okay, so every time that there is a clock, it's just taking a random value. I'm going to change it to comparator mode. So what happens now in the comparator mode is that when there is a, a rising edge and the input value after the attenuator is larger than zero, uh, we're going to get the output of the clock. Let me Let's try to make it more clear here. I'm gonna take instead of the noise, the sign. Let's make it bipolar. And now you can see that when the when the input signal is larger than zero, we have the we have the clock. And we don't have any pulses when it's less than zero. And we can affect this by changing, for example, the offset of the signal. Now we're going to get less pulses. And 
less pulses now, or we can just uh, displace the, the signal uh, to make it uh, with a high, larger uh, positive component and we get more pulses. Um, so now I'm going to take the noise, I'm going to restore it. I don't think I need the scope anymore. Let's let's add a tumor here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it in the comparator mode and I'm gonna remove I'm not gonna remove it, I'm just gonna disconnect it and let's use a, an actual clock instead. So what happens now is that that we are uh, randomly triggering Trumor based on the on the noise input. I'm getting too many clicks. Let me change the, the block size here. Okay, so the noise. It uh, my guess is is that it's a. Uh, it's white noise, so it has the same probability of, of uh, being positive as negative. So uh, it should be around 50% of probability of, of triggering. But if we change the offset, we're gonna get less, less uh, triggers. And if we increase it, we're gonna get more triggers. We can use A second noise into the second channel, the same clock again in comparator mode. We can use this one to trigger the other section of tumor. And of course, as Flux also has the, the modulation matrix of, of the Wood modules, so we can take, for example, this signal, this LFO signal, and affect, let's, I'm gonna put it like this, and affect, let's say, the offset. So we want that uh, to have more pulses at a certain times we can add another LFO here use a different channel let's use yeah let's use the same clock and I'll put this signal into Trumor and I'm gonna change the tune here
that's basically Flux and it's going to be available for download very soon and remember that all these modules are for free but you can also you can also support the development of the modules by placing a donation just follow the links in my webpage and, and also to receive more updates regarding the modules just subscribe to this channel